All right, y'all, I'm editing the video and I realized that you cannot see the list of actions that I'm doing uh, somehow on this screen share on uh, Windows um, through the little Xbox game kind of screen share thing. It's, it, it wasn't showing it for some reason. Uh, so until I figure that out, but I do want to show you it and let you see what I was strolling through. See how it has the knockout rasterization rasterization rasterize uh rather you got the perfect black removal um you also can hit here hit button mode and he has these things color coded uh so you can see them a little better uh black removal a uh, perfect black removal knockout and so when you see me over here and i'm doing this that's what i'm going through those little sections here so you can see uh the those um categories and selections that you have um within that within that package trans clean up aggressive uh rerun knockout knockout black trans clean up standard perfect black mixer brush cloning uh save as photoshop pdf so just pretty much these are a lot of shortcuts or some recorded uh actions to save you time on knocking certain things out. And again, go to uh, Pixel Mosh Pit. I don't know why I was saying motif uh, throughout the video also. Um, um, but uh, Pixel Mosh Pit uh, dot com and, um, or Pixel Mosh Pit on YouTube and you'll see some of um, some of his videos and you know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's, you think it may work for you, uh, go check the brother out and, um, you know what I'm saying? Support his channel, support, um, the work that he's done, uh, giving us this shortcut. All right. Enjoy the video. All right, y'all. So what, what we want to do here and what, what we have here, if you can see my mouse here, you see the little mouse hand, um, you have a rasterization kit from pixelmotif.com. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, and this brother has come with a powerful tool. You know what I'm saying? A powerful tool that that makes it easy for you to just knock the black out. Now, if you want to just knock out, if you have a perfect black, and he'll go through all the, he has all the, you know what I'm saying, the ins and outs of, you know what I'm saying, what you need to do if you need to, when you need to knock these colors out, if you need to use, which one of these you need to use. Yeah, you got the perfect black, the perfect black removal, you got the black removal, because sometimes in these images, all of this ain't black, he's going to, he'll explain this, you know what I'm saying, he's better to go, you need to go there to explain what that product is. I'm just showing you that there is a product out here where you can knock out of the black and um uh, and rasterize i know the um the 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 okey the okey you know what i'm saying i 550s or the, some of those i am um uh ink toner printers uh have a way better software than the aqua uh rip 9.0 or 10.0 whatever the case may be uh they have better products where they where their software will allow them uh to do the auto uh, blackout and to rasterize. All right, so um, being we are using that uh, that whack Arco 9.0 rip uh, mess, um, you got to be careful where you get that from. Also, I'm I'm hearing that you know what I'm saying there are problems with people who rip it off online. A uh, particular company that I got my uh, yeah, particular vendor or company that I got my DTG printer from DTF Shalakia. Uh, my bad DTF. Uh, printer from um, they uh, they actually gave me a thumb drive um, and even um, OmniJet with their they, with that that OmniJet 330 it uses that Arco Rip uh, from it uses that Arco Rip uh, software also and has the little thumb drive um, it's actually plugged into this laptop right now. But you see, again, you see all the different, all the, you got the Eclipse. So I guess these are the sizes. Um, you want the dots, you get 65 all the way down to 15. 
um, far as size range of the dots. This is just a knockout. And then rasterize is a perfect black. Again, because some of this black may look black, but it's not really black. And sometimes, uh, well, you'll see with some of these images, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go over it, uh, some of the different um, causes of these images um, coming out a certain way. And uh, why he does have all of these. And he's making adjustments um, as he goes along. So you're supposed to... He's supposed to have all these updates. You can always go there and get the updates to the software for free once you uh, purchase, uh, purchase it. Um, but yeah, you want the black removal. So the perfect scenario to do with this, um, because this isn't, you know, I've already tried it a couple times. I'm going to show you why um, it doesn't really uh, work um, with this image like that is because it's not really... It's not really that black and, and that the image is not really sharp. You see, when it has that fuzziness and it starts getting transparent, uh, it becomes problematic. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to use the, the magic wand. I'm going to hit on there. Let me see if I can hit that, catch him in there too. Yep, we're going to do that like that, right? And then we're going to go mass and... Uh, and do control I and invert that and then we have this right and so he has where you can just do the blackout automatically you know that wasn't but a few steps um, but if you're not really trying to learn Photoshop like that you're not trying to you, you need to do it but if you're not you have a uh, knockout quick black you know what I'm saying you could hit this button right here it'll knock out the black it probably would have took her eyebrows out took the eyelashes parts out etc right so i would come here i would start here and that would be a good one i, I have it uh like this but say you want to rasterize it and you want to make it try to feel a little better than it just being um this one large um image As a matter of fact let me uh erase let me erase this um this little arrow here just erase this. I'm start. I'm really beginning to like Photoshop and really uh, starting to like realize like I should have been jumped on this, but you know it's steps. Um, so I'm trying to see exactly which one to use since I did um, the black removal already. Um, it will. Yeah, it will probably be the black removal. So, um, if we did it here, um, I think the best option is probably here. Uh, black removal. No. Yeah, black removal. Eclipse. Maybe. We'll do. We do 25. All right. Matter of fact, we'll do 15. We'll do 15. And then we hit play on that. Um, and the action button, you hit play. It's going to do its thing. And uh, it's running out all of these actions and all of these adjustments to the image to rasterize it. Depending on your processor speed of your laptop, it's going to take um you know a minute or two or you know a couple seconds and so now you see uh this image has been uh rasterized and it has the has the dots in there dots seem a big humongous um I might should have used this the, the 65. All right, yeah, I probably should have used the 65. Also, those dots wouldn't be so humongous. Uh, but y'all get the y'all get the idea, right? You get the idea of um of of how this thing actually works. Um, when you go to Pixel Motif, you go there, they'll, they'll tell you and give you the whole nine, the whole gist of it. Again, I am very novice when it comes to this thing, but uh, just it's, I'm just a testament 
of, you know, how simple it can be if, you know what I'm saying, me being a novice and I got hold to it and I was able to do it, uh, you can be able to do it also. So what you can do here too is um, he has a quick uh, add a layer. Has add a layer here. Um, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Add garment color, right? So you can just hit that. Now you could just go down here and hit add right here. You could just go hit add button right here, add a new layer, come back, hit the field, hit this right here, click on the layer, get the paint bucket. And then hit the hit the you know paint the fill the uh, layer and um, so that's how it would look. But instead of doing all that, you just hit the add add garment color, hit play. He already got the actions there for you. And again, he says he's gonna update this thing. Um, I don't know if he's a man of his word. Not I can't. I don't know if he has integrity or nothing like that. I ain't speaking on that, so don't 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 quote me on that. But this is what he said. Um, and I'm happy with the product. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do nothing else, I'm happy with the product. So, and it's it was only I think like thirty bucks. Um, and, but it saves you time, man. At the end of the day, time is money, and it does save you that. But um, yeah, man. I hope that was um. Uh, hope you was able to deal with that. I'm not gonna worry about that again. Um. Uh, you know that's what you get all right and again I, you know he got different size dots you probably could make these dots a lot smaller than this um and then you print that out and it should come out come out about like that right you'll print it out like that you got a lot of space in there it's not gonna feel um all pasty and papery um and it helps you out a little bit it saves a little ink etc all right and so i'm show you a couple examples let's go over here to the failure <laughs> rasterization failure table and we'll show you um a couple of designs that we did fail on and some of the success all right y'all welcome to the failure table all right, i'm just giving y'all a clean sweep of this thing all right all right okay now i was trying to do some spattered blood here and um you can see that it has it has transparent dots some of the dots are transparent you see that some of the dots are transparent some are um some are dark red, some are that little pink. So when you have that transparency, and what happens is, it's on the outside. See, on the outside of these circles, if it's transparent out there, and this is why you need Photoshop, this is why you need good, clean, crisp designs, um, you'll have this outside white layer out here because this is what happens when it tries to, uh, when your printer tries to deal with transparent images or gradients all right here go another one with me trying to uh take out the black again i i took out i did the perfect black in the rasterization pull out and so there's no just just no black in there uh all together and the u is just there uh with no black and so extremely it lights up so that's how i was getting this image here Again, this is the same, uh, pretty much the same thing that happened. I'm going to go back and do this and fix this because I know now not to do the perfect black rasterization process. But this still is a good uh, image. This still is a good image. It's just I took all the black out and I shouldn't have did that. I should have left some of the black in. Um, but again, here, you can see, let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can see the shadow, that shadow. See how I put white ink be behind that to try to um, cover that. And so that's what your machine is going to do. It's just going to put, when you have those gradients, don't even try it. Don't even try it. When it has those gradients back there, somebody sends you an image back there, you try to print you know, uh, transfers. I'm not a transfer printer. Um, I, don't, I don't print transfers. 
Um, I did this for me and my brand, and you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, this was an option for me. Um, so I I didn't have tran printing transfers in mind. Not to say I wouldn't do it. Uh, just at the moment, I'm probably not going to do it. Um, and then here's another image where because it was it was not you know that black wasn't it wasn't perfect black um it did it didn't knock all the black it didn't just knock all the black out so this is some of the you know some of the it it was thought it was a a color so it put little you know what i'm saying little dots in there dots in there it had noise they so they call that noise in the image and so those things would have to be taken out um if you want to uh, rasterize is now what you could have did like we did in the um we showed you on the computer is you take this image now this is not rasterized and i would probably just keep this image like this but if you want to rasterize and make it feel just a little better um you can do that and but i would do this i would do this process first and get the black out um and then rasterize it Okay, then rasterize it, and so you can um, keep as much color in that image, and it'll still look crispy and clean, and it won't have that noise, right? So this is another, this is a good example here of the noise. We are back. So here's another image. Here's another image here. Nothing but noise in that thing. Nothing but noise, all right? Couldn't, couldn't decipher it, couldn't pick it out. And so you guys just got to be mindful of these kinds of images, okay? These kinds of images. And again, there's ways around these things. Let me show you this image here. Is that this is the same image, but I rasterized, I, t I took all the black out. And then I put a black background and frame behind it and made a beautiful shirt. Here, you know, isn't that beautiful? Right. So, you know, just got to just got to just got to figure these things out, man. Be creative. You know what I'm saying? We trying to break the system. Really? Like if you a DTF or you really like you trying to break the matrix, you trying to you trying to make DTF like Uber, man, where it's just a disruption. And that's what it's becoming, man. This DTF print is becoming a disruption to the T-shirt market. They don't know what to do with it. And it's just it done came so fast that they really can't stop it. They really can't get their hands on it and say, well, listen, this is our company. And, and start de sending out those promo videos like Racoma and um, and all of these other companies do. I just know Racoma. That's really who I see the most. And just me saying this on this phone, you know how they be listening to everything. They probably going to start sending the videos with every YouTube commercial. So again, you you know the possibilities there. Um, go 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 to Motif, uh, Pixel Motif. Check him out. Check out what he do. And um, again, that's you know what I'm saying the possibilities are there. But again, I would go here first, then rasterize. Right, if you're gonna do it, uh, you need a clean image, clean image uh, for that process. All right, so uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe.